What's going on people? Ben here from Bateman Talks Tottenham, back with another video with my dad Paul, right. where today we'll be previewing the big one, the North mm -hmm. London derby, home game against Arsenal, the biggest game of the season really, isn't it? Yep, definitely. And um, anything could happen. I mean, uh, on current form, you know, they're playing exceptionally well when they play mm. at their best, but then we play exceptionally well when we're playing at our best. So, you know, then this season has been such a Roller coaster. Um, yes, uh, unpredictable. Who who would have thought we'd have won four away at Villa? Who'd have thought be Villa would have beaten them two 0 Yeah, uh, at uh, the Emirates. So you never know what's going to happen. But if we play at our best, we give them a good game at least. Yeah, obviously we haven't played since we lost four 0 to Newcastle, mm. and in that time Arsenal lost against Villa, went out of the Champions League. But the last two weeks. They've won games as well. Mm. The last two games they've had, they've won against Wolves. So their form's starting to pick up a bit, which is not the best news. They beat Chelsea 5-0 midweek. Yes. See, we've got Chelsea next week, but Chelsea, again, are very unpredictable this season. Sometimes Chelsea can turn up, and sometimes Chelsea, like Pochettino said, mm. when they're bad, they're very bad. Mm. So hard to tell what's going to happen, because yeah. Chelsea were very competitive in that first half against Arsenal. Mm. But... Arsenal blew them away in the second. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's not going to be an easy game by any stretch of the imagination, is it? No, certainly not, but it'll be fascinating. Obviously, we've got the sad news that Destiny Udogi is going to be out for the rest of the season, mm. which is a big blow for this game, but the upcoming games is what a player he's been this season. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, I believe Ben Davis will be in. Yeah. Um, obviously, he's very experienced and used to playing against Arsenal. Yeah, Ben Davis has never lost a home game that he started in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium against Arsenal, I saw the other day, so <laughs> maybe that'll bring us some good luck, like mm -hmm. you said with Ange confirming that Ben Davis will be starting in this mm -hmm. game, which is I think you could expect with Van de Ven and Romero not wanting to split up their partnership in such a big game. Mm -hmm. um, whether we'll see Dragosin and Van de Ven play at left-back in one of the other games against Burnley potentially, or... Mm -hmm. I think what will happen and what I would do is just keep it for the rest of the season. Mm. Um, but some good news that Pedro Porro, who was a bit of a doubt for this game, is going to be back and is able to play. And the same with Richarlison, who we've missed for a couple of weeks. Yep. He's going to be back for this game. And I think, well, the more options we've got off the bench, the better. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a very difficult game. I hope it doesn't get ruined by a red card, like mm. the Chelsea game earlier on in the season was totally ruined for us and we got players sent off. Mm. I hope that doesn't happen again. Um, but yeah, it should be an amazing atmosphere. You think mm. what both teams have riding on this game. Mm. Let's be honest, if we don't win this game, we don't really have any chance of making Champions League with no. Chelsea and Liverpool coming up in the rest of the week. So mm. we, we have to win this game for our own sake and to hopefully end Arsenal's title hopes, which, if let's be honest, if Arsenal don't win every game now, between now and the end of the season, they're not going to win it. Because no. I can't see City dropping points in any more than one game and even that is unlikely mm. so this if we win it really does kill their title hopes mm. and well that would be a party atmosphere in the stadium <laughs> after wouldn't it it would indeed yes so what's your prediction yeah prediction is such a difficult game to call mm. the North London derby always is it's a weird one because you never know what could happen when we beat them 3-0 a couple of years ago the red card made that game open up mm. Um or we lost 2-0 last season. I know we were absolutely horrendous last season at points. Mm. But then Arsenal are very good at times this season as well. So mm. it really is probably, what, if not the hardest, it could be the hardest game, I'd say, mm. to call mm. <laughs> that yeah. we ever have. Either Spurs-Arsenal or Spurs-Chelsea are probably the hardest games we can have to predict. Um you really got me confused there. I'm not sure. Well, uh, I'm, uh, as an eternal optimist, I'm going for 3-2 to us. 3-2, OK. <laughs> yeah, difficult one. It's a weird one. I want to go 2-1, but I'm not sure there'll be as little goals as that because this is quite often quite an open game. I'm going to go with 3-1, but I think your prediction might be more likely, 3-2. <laughs> but then sometimes we've thought that and it's only been a 2-0 or mm. a 2-1, so mm. very hard to predict. I'm going to go with 3-1, you're going to go with 3-2. Key players for this match, do you think Basuma and Saar will start or do you think Ben Senko and Hoivier might get a game? I think uh, Basuma will start. Um, hard to tell. Um, 
But uh, yeah, I mean, Romero will have a huge influence on it. Yeah, yeah, Romero and Van de Ven are going to be crucial to mm. stopping Arsenal's attack. Mm. Um, you'd think maybe with Davis playing at left back, is Porro going to have a little bit more license going forward, yeah. potentially? Yeah. Um, obviously, yeah. the full backs at Spurs work very different to a lot of other teams, but I think it maybe could help medicine, Porro. Yeah, medicine as well, going forward a bit more. Than yeah. He does. Yeah, yeah. we just got to hope that yeah. we. As long as we don't make any mistakes and we give it our absolute best and the team mm. give 110% on the pitch, that's all we can ask for. Yep. And we've got to hope that we're clinical on the day. Mm. Front three, expect, obviously, Son is going to play. Whether Richarlison is fit enough to start, don't know. Mm. If not, it'll probably be either Johnson or Kulisevsky on that right-hand side and then a toss-up of Son on the left wing with Richarlison in the middle or Werner on the left with Son down the middle, you'd imagine. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've just got to be hopeful that... <laughs> We can turn up early game, mm. two o'clock kickoff. Yep. Stadium will be rocking. The scenes after the game. Let's hope the players have got that in their heads. What mm. it could be like the celebrations yeah. if we win this game. But at the same time, also got to play the game, not the occasion, and not let the game get to their heads. Mm. We've seen a couple of times this season, little things and games have got to our players' heads a bit too easily. Um, but yeah. We've got to hope that Arsenal crumble like they seem to always do at the end of the season. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll see you for the match day vlog tomorrow. It's going to be quite an amazing one, I think mm. it's safe to say. No matter what the result is, it's going to be a great vlog. Mm. Hope you'll watch it. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss it. And as always, come on you Spurs! Spurs.